Hello, my name is uh, Anna Maskalan. I live in Zagreb, Croatia, and I work on Institute for Social Research in Zagreb. So can we start? Yes. <laughs> so the first question was, <coughs> your first question was whether my country is secular. Yes, I believe it is. There is no doubt about it. Formally, it is secular. Uh, because um, uh, uh, there is no church law above uh, the government, of course, above the, uh, the, uh, the constitution. But there is always but. Uh, there are a few reasons why um, I believe that the, uh, the answer is not very simple. Uh, maybe because uh, the grounds on which Croatia was built in the last 20 years are maybe even um, contradictory. Why do I say that? In the first place, uh, for Croatia was extremely important after the fall of Yugoslavia that uh, uh, it that that it gained uh, an acceptance, wide acceptance of European countries, which are secular. Even today, Croatia is trying uh, to enter secular Euro European Union. Because of that, secularism is a very important issue in Croatia. On the other hand, and this is very interesting that uh, Catholicism is a, a very important part of Croatian national identity because of that because it is uh, you need to you need to know uh, the special role Catholic Church had in uh, keeping Croatian dream about freedom and independence alive first country that accepted uh, um, Croatia after the fall of Yugoslavia was actually Vatican and it is not something that is irrelevant um, <clears throat> so we can say that in Croatia there is a complex very complex uh, relationship between the government and Catholic Church um, why do I say that today it is a matter of political and social prestige in Croatia to be Catholic that's why we have our president and our prime minister sitting in the front bench in church at the Christmas Mass. Um, there are, I can say, uh, there are many direct and indirect ways Catholic Church is trying to influence uh, Croatian government uh, on an educational level, on a, uh, let's say, level of medical issues, such as. Uh, uh, such as, for example, issues of uh, right on abortion, uh, abortion rights and in vitro fertilization. Mm -hmm. Let me say something about education because it is very interesting. Um, a religious education became uh, entered schools, and I'm not uh, talking about a religious education uh, which uh, um, where <coughs> priests are talking about all religions, of course. We are, they are mentioning Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, etc. But the primary goal is to say something about Catholic truths and dogmas. And this is the important and, let's say, the main subject of a, a religious education in schools. Another, even uh, more interesting element is sexual education. Um, where, uh, actually, Catholic, Catholic Church was very interested in giving sexual education to children in schools. Uh, of course, uh, that sexual education was um, primarily oriented on teaching children who were brought up on MTV, on popular country, uh, culture and uh, American uh, 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 films, cin uh, movies. The, uh, it is difficult you know, to teach those children that the only way you can protect yourself is to to, uh, uh, how to say... Uh, Abstain? Yes, abstinence is the only and, well, not the best, the only way of contraception. So, condoms are evil. Not only that, um, there was a, a, a big scandal when in few schools, uh, Catholic, Catholic priests were actually showing children documentaries, very vivid and very, uh, let's say, cruel documentaries about abortion, which were with very um, um, in uh, how do you say in focus pictures 
of abortions. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty difficult, you know, for children in elementary schools to watch these, these things. In medicine, like, uh, like uh, I, on, on a medical level, in medical issues, um, Catholic Church uh, was very loud, and even it is today, in trying to uh, prohibit right to uh, abortion right and in vitro fertilization. Uh, today, even, uh, Catholic Church is, uh, is inviting Croatian voters, because we have elections coming very soon, not to vote for political parties uh, that are, um, that, that, uh, that, think that, 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 that support right to abortion. Okay, if I understand correctly, there are, these are two different levels, because mm -hmm. at the level of um, their opinions, mm -hmm. well, they can express their opinions just like anybody, yeah, but uh, if they are teaching their ways in state schools, mm -hmm. how can you say your state is secular? seems contradictory to me. Yeah, well, yes, I, I said that the, the grounds are con uh, contradictory. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Catholic Church was very loud in many issues, in abortion, in vitro fertilization, because there was a pamphlet saying that something like uh, children uh, that are um, that are giving birth in vit in vitro fertilizations of fertilization are not uh, gifts; they are things, and it, that was extremely cruel. In other words, mothers who couldn't have children. Uh, are they trying to influence the laws? They are trying to influence the laws. Uh, it wasn't very successful on these earlier examples, but in one example it was successful. Although, uh, uh, well, uh, if I say it's not, it wasn't successful. Obviously, it did. If we have a religious education, but that is not mandatory. You can, uh, you can listen ethics. So this isn't something that you, uh, you have to do. Of course, you have to write to choose something else because that that is the reason why I do believe. Croatia is secular. Um, work on Sundays. I don't know if you uh, if you heard about it, but um, Cardinal Bozanić uh, said, uh, I believe, a few days ago, that uh, Catholic Church wants to prohibit works, working on Sundays just to relieve mothers to be to spend more time with their children, and actually, uh, they uh, succeeded in making creation uh, in forcing actually government to change the law about working on sundays but it was actually very funny because when came, when summer came and thousands of tourists came came to Croatia, it was difficult you know not to have anything open to them you know there is you know you have an economical interest and on the, on one side and we, on the other side you have a religious, uh, let's say, you have religious beliefs and, and values. Um, maybe something, well, yes, I believe, uh, maybe if I remember something more, I will tell you. <laughs> but if you have any questions. Please. Yes, uh, having one day free in the week was not one of the workers' conquests. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. How was it in ex-Yugoslavia, uh, where people working throughout the week? Yes, that is true. <coughs> uh, uh, I'm, not, uh, uh, I'm not very... Um, uh, uh, working on Sundays wasn't actually... A law says that this is not mandatory. Uh, women, uh, actually people working... You know, you have to know that uh, church was primarily interested in uh, shopping malls. They didn't prohibit, let's say, doctors or somebody else to work on Sundays. They were interested primarily on on uh, on shopping malls but there, uh, I believe that working uh, on Sundays was never mandatory uh, on the other hand private um, uh, private business and shopping malls are usually private they are forcing uh, people working there primarily women to work seven days a week so this is not a simple question of course yeah do you have other religious minorities and what is their reaction to the rise of the church in politics? Uh, 
there is no reaction. There is no actual reaction because of the. You need to understand, of course, there there is a uh, there is Islam and uh, there is uh, how do you say Pravoslavic is a, a Serbian church. I'm not sure uh, how do you say it in English. Maybe the Orthodox Church. The Orthodox Church was uh, extremely uh, was uh, actually this is a minority, religious minority. These people are a religious minority, but because of the war, because all the things that happened, because of the 90 percent of uh, people in Croatia are Catholic, then you, uh, those min these minorities are not very loud. Actually, they are keeping in small groups. They have their their uh, churches. Um, their religious centers, but uh, there is no real answer from them to Catholic okay. Church. And like I said, being Catholic is a matter of political and social prestige, so it is much easier to be an atheist than being Orthodox or Islamic or something else. Okay. And my last question would be about feminists. Mm -hmm. Do they realize that uh, the rise of the church in politics in Croatia could endanger some of the rights they enjoyed in ex-Yugoslavia? And do they organize for secularism or is it a non-issue for them? You have to understand that we cannot talk about a rise of church. Because uh, church was actually, ex when, when Croatia was built, church was on its peak. So today, today uh, I, I cannot talk about rise. I can go. Uh, I can talk about actually. Uh, I believe that things are getting better because of the European Union, because of its laws, and uh, of course that that, did, that didn't cha that didn't change. Uh, values are not changed, and that is the main issue. Uh, values are still the same. Conservative values uh, that are supported by the Catholic Church. And this is something difficult to change. But I believe that young people, women, women groups, uh, even in government, there is a uh, 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 there is a office, government office for gender rights, actually for for women's rights, in Croatian government. Um, there are many women's groups. They are uh, that, that, that are talking about these issues. That are actually very loud. I believe that the worst thing that can happen when there is a, 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 a speak, speech about uh, abortion or in vitro fertilization or about women on every le on any, a, any level is when people are silent. But these things are not happening anymore. So I believe this is a very uh, important moment. I believe, I'm, I'm optimistic maybe. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. So uh, another thing I wanted to say is actually about a Vatican contract. A uh, Croatian church, actually Croatian government signed a contract with Vatican about uh, uh, properties of Catholic Church in Croatia. They all needed to be uh, uh, brought back to church and uh, these are the properties that actually was uh, were lost in Yugoslavia, former Yugoslavia. So this is a, a economical contract which uh, in a way um, it casts a very interesting light on Croatian government and its position. On the other, on one hand, uh, the primary goal is to become a part of European Union, and you have to have some laws that are prohibiting the church to be that powerful. On the other hand, you have these contracts. You have a, you have extremely, extremely uh, strong um, uh, influence. On Catholic Church, uh, of Catholic, Catholic Church, not not maybe not so much on governments, but on people's values. And maybe this is actually the same. No, it is never the same thing, of course. But there is a. Yeah. <coughs> Speaking of this Vatican contract, mm -hmm. uh, how big is the deal? It is. I don't. Like I said, I don't know enough of information, so I'm, I'm afraid. To talk about something that I'm not familiar <coughs> with, so maybe some somebody said, "Well, you are not right. This is some, some, something else." But it is a big deal. You know? It is a big deal. Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, properties of church are enormous. 
so uh, one one uh, uh, Croatia is actually very there is a big debt de de uh, how do you say um, debt yeah debt to uh, uh, to European countries of the world and <laughs> a, a very well a big part of it goes to Vatican. <laughs> Okay, is there something else you would like to add to all of this, the informative talk? Uh, well, let, let, me say, let me see what I have me first. I'm Catholic, actually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I am Catholic and I think this is important thing to say. Because for me, it is, it is sometimes difficult you know, to consider myself Catholic, to be religious, to be a believer, and not to disagree with the institution, this is not a very philosophical question, it's not a philosophical problem, we all have these problems. Well, I believe that um, people who think have these problems, maybe I'm a little bit snobbish now. <laughs> <laughs> but I have, uh, but just because I am Catholic, I believe that I have a right to be critical.